Hello my friends and welcome back to Reboot My Body. If this is your first time here, hi! I'm glad you stopped by. On this channel we talk about practical health tips that help you live stronger, longer, and healthier lives. Now today's video is going to be one of the most important conversations we've had because we're tackling a question that millions of older adults are asking right now. Which vaccines do I really need in 2025? Every fall, we hear about flu shots, COVID boosters, and now something new, RSV vaccines. And let's be honest, it can feel overwhelming. Which ones do you need? Can you take them all at once? Which are optional and which are absolutely essential? Stick with me today because by the end of this video, you'll have a crystal clear understanding of what's recommended, why it matters, and some real life stories of what happens when these vaccines are skipped. And I want this to be a conversation, not just me talking at you. So here's my first question for you. Have you ever skipped your flu shot? And if yes, why? Was it because you forgot? You didn't think it was necessary? Or maybe you were worried about side effects? Let me know in the comments. I'll be checking and responding. Let's start with the big picture. Why are these vaccines so important, especially for seniors? According to the World Health Organization, seasonal flu alone kills up to 650,000 people worldwide every single year. That's not the sniffles. That's serious. And here's the hard truth. Most of those deaths happen in people over 65. In the U.S., the CDC has tracked this closely. In 2022, for example, during one flu wave, nearly 70% of all ICU admissions were in people over age 65. Now let me pause and ask you, when you think of the flu, do you think of it as something dangerous or just like a bad cold? Many people say, oh, it's just the flu, I'll be fine. But the reality is, it's not just about protecting yourself. Vaccines also protect your family, your spouse, your grandkids. You become part of a shield for your community. I like to say vaccines don't just protect me, they protect we. Okay, let's break it down shot by shot. First up, the flu vaccine. The CDC recommends that everyone aged 65 and older should get either the high dose flu shot or the adjuvanted flu vaccine. Now, what does that mean? Think of the high dose flu shot like a regular flu vaccine, but with a little extra kick, extra antigen, which helps your immune system respond more strongly. The adjuvanted version works a bit differently. It has an ingredient that boosts your immune system's response. Why does this matter? Because as we age, our immune systems naturally weaken. The same vaccine that works for a 25-year-old may not work as well for a 70-year-old. Here's proof. A 2023 study published in the New England Journal of Medicine showed that seniors who got the high-dose flu shot were 24% less likely to be hospitalized with flu-related complications compared to those who got the standard dose. Now I want to ask you, when you've gone for your flu shot in the past, did your doctor or pharmacist ever tell you which type you were getting? Or did they just say, here's your flu shot? Drop your answer in the comments. I bet most of us weren't even told there are different types. Next, let's talk about COVID. I know many of you are tired of hearing about it, but here's the reality. COVID is still with us. And for older adults, it's still very dangerous. The CDC reports that more than 80% of COVID-related deaths in the past year were in people aged 65 and older. That hasn't changed. So what's new in 2025? This fall, the CDC recommends that everyone, yes, everyone six months and older, get the updated COVID-19 booster. But it's especially critical for those over 60. Let me give you a real example. Last winter in California, there was a case of an elderly couple. The wife had just received her updated booster. 
She caught COVID, but she only had mild symptoms and was back on her feet in a week. Her husband, however, had skipped his booster for two years. He also caught COVID and ended up in the hospital for weeks struggling with pneumonia. Same virus, different outcomes. So here's my question to you. Do you still worry about COVID or do you feel like it's just like the flu now? I'd love to know how you're feeling about it in 2025. All right, now let's talk about RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. I know, it sounds like something you might have never heard of until recently, but for seniors, RSV is a big deal. It can cause severe lung infections, bronchitis, or pneumonia. The CDC now recommends RSV vaccination for most older adults. But the good news is, it's usually a one-time vaccine. Unless you have a weak immune system or certain health conditions, one shot may cover you for years. Why is this important? Because in 2023 alone, RSV sent over 160,000 older adults in the U.S. to the hospital. That's actually more than the number hospitalized with the flu in some areas. So tell me honestly, had you heard of RSV before last year? Yes or no? I'm curious. Now here's the million dollar question. Can you get all these shots at once? The short answer, flu and COVID shots? Yes, you can get them the same day. RSV? Yes, but experts suggest you might want to space it out just to minimize side effects like fatigue or soreness. Here's a practical tip. Some people prefer the one and done approach. Just get them all in one visit and be finished. Others prefer spacing them out. Maybe flu and COVID in October, RSV in November. What about you? Are you a get it all done in one trip type of person? Or do you like spreading things out? Comment below and let's compare notes. Before we wrap up, let's talk about myths because there are so many out there. Myth number one, the flu shot gives you the flu. False. The flu shot is made from inactivated virus or proteins. It can't infect you. Myth number two, getting multiple shots overloads your immune system. False. Your immune system fights thousands of germs daily. A few vaccines are nothing compared to what your body handles every day. Myth number three, only sick people need vaccines. False. Vaccines are most powerful when you're healthy because that's when your body can build strong protection. Let me share one more real world example. During the 2017 to 2018 flu season, misinformation led to very low vaccination rates in certain US counties. Those areas ended up having double the hospitalization rates compared to neighboring counties where vaccine uptake was higher. So the lesson is clear. Myths cost lives. Quick pause. Have you ever hesitated to get a vaccine because of something you heard from a friend or saw online? Did you change your mind later or did you stick with your decision? Share your story. I guarantee someone else will benefit from hearing it. All right, my friends, let's bring it all together. Here are your key takeaways for 2025. One, flu vaccine. Every year, high dose or adjuvanted if you're 65 plus. Two, COVID booster. Updated shot this fall, especially important for older adults. Three, RSV vaccine. Usually a one-time shot, but ask your doctor if you need it. Remember, these aren't just doctor's orders. These are tools that help you live longer, stay out of the hospital, and keep enjoying the things that make life meaningful. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps this channel reach more people. And don't forget to subscribe to Reboot My Body for more practical, science-backed health tips. And finally, let's get the conversation going below. Which vaccine do you think is the most important for you this year? Flu, COVID, or RSV? I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Stay strong, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.